And we started having these little characters called Max and Mouse running around, <coughs> uh, kind of doing these guided tours. And so I did the research for this Colosseum strip, and I got really excited by this particular panel up here. I thought, oh, this is really fun. They used to get all these weird and wonderful animals from around uh, the empire, kind of like different shapes and sizes, like giraffes and rhinos and crocodiles. And they used to slaughter them by the thousands, these animals. They're really horrific, actually. And uh, they used to show off these animals. Look at these amazing animals. Look how wonderful we are as hunters. Kill, kill, kill. And I thought, but what if they fought back? This is quite an interesting thing. I really like this little idea, this little germ of an idea. So um, I kind of wrote, put a pitch together and approached my publisher. And they said, after the ti uh, teeny tiny size, I said, have you got any more ideas? I said, well, I have. I've got this thing about this uh, zebra. <laughs> it gets thrown into the Colosseum and he fights back. And uh, it's called Julius Zebra. And um, him, plus a few other chaps, there's Minus the Grumpy Lion, there's Rufus the Giraffe who enjoys a bit of gladiatorial fighting, there's Cornelius, he kind of gives us a few Roman facts throughout the book. Everybody finds him a bit boring, but he's not boring, he's very interesting. And uh, there's Julius, and there's a crocodile called Lucia, who's a bit, um, she's a vegetarian, and she actually would rather be chariot racing, so she's not really keen on the territorial stuff. And we've got a little book trailer. Hopefully it might work. Give you an idea of the book. <laughs>